Hello, my name is Tori Smith, and I would like to do a child trafficking report for the Indianapolis My Lab uh, for June the 3rd, uh, 2016. Um, Twelve children were brought in, um, and they were uh, gang raped and murdered by a very small group this time, as 12 children were raped by 17 males a total of 41 times. And uh, I could connect to the DNA of 57 males who were due to show up, but only 17 of them showed up. And um, I, I really hope that we're making a difference. Uh, I sent out a lot of letters this week to uh, the Office of Child Rapist and Child Murderer Mike Pence, to the offices of uh, Child Rapist and Child Murderer Greg Zeller, um, I sent a list of children that were murdered to the wife of child rapist and child murderer, Mike Pence. Her name is Karen Pence. She's known about this child trafficking operation uh, for quite some time now. And uh, I believe it's uh, 100, it was 127 children have been murdered since she's known about it. Excuse me. And now it's 12 more. So that would be 139. And as far as I'm concerned, when somebody finds out about a child trafficking operation or a law enforcement officer, if you go up and say, I've witnessed murder, and they say, oh, no, you didn't. I really like the guy that you're accusing the murder of, and so therefore it didn't happen. There's no way we're going to investigate that. Well, that basically says complacency equals accessory to murder. Which brings us to Whitley County Prosecutor, the man who filed charges against me because I wanted to file a complaint against one of these men who rapes and murders children. And, um, and so they, he wants to put me in jail for 10 years. Uh, he's an accessory now to the murders of 80 children. And wow, does this man have a high opinion of himself. Uh, he loves, loves, loves to help men rape and murder innocent children. And he basically considers himself a god, which is a very dangerous situation. And uh, so I really hope these letters have made a difference because I've mentioned, basically I've just put YouTube videos into letter form and sent them out. And uh, because the level of corruption in this state is just mind-boggling. Even the public defender assigned to me believes that I should spend six months in jail for wanting to file a complaint against the man who rapes and murders children. And he also believes that I should pay restitution to the men who raped me, the men that I witnessed murder children. He wants me to give them money. I, I was shocked when I, I think I, I felt like burning that letter. And, um, but the uh, man who brought uh, child trafficker um, Matthew J. Rensler into this child trafficking program, he's raped 225 children, he's murdered 54, two by dagger to the heart, and 52 choked to death. And he's dissolved 17 bodies of children in the basement of his uh, Indianapolis home which is exactly why the Whitley County Prosecutor loves this man so much, because he is a gruesome, horrible monster who rapes and murders children. Well, they all feel this way. They feel like, well, I can do this because, you know, I'm so-and-so, and I can't be prosecuted and all this stuff. They're absolute horrible, horrible people. And the 17 who did show up were Mike Pence, Greg Zeller, Douglas G. Carter, who's the superintendent of the Indiana State Police, seven other Indiana State Police officers, six Indianapolis Municipal Police Department officers, and uh, the CIA agent named Thomas. Greg Zeller, the Indiana Attorney General, has now raped 24 children, which makes a lot of people very proud. A lot of people in Indiana are extremely, extremely proud uh, that their loved ones rape and murder innocent children. Um, the, uh, 
I'm sorry, it's hard for me to think. The CIA swore up and down that I won't live to see my trial, and Friday they really, really did a number on me. And they were injecting this chemical into me, and it, when I kept throwing it up and throwing it up, it just was burning like crazy. And I've basically been in bed uh, ever since. It's now Monday morning. Well, Monday, 12.30, little afternoon. And uh, this is the best that I've felt in several days um, because of these weapons they're using on me. And, uh, but I would like to talk about the 12 children. Child number one is a four-year-old girl from Brazil. She was raped 71 times, and she was murdered by Douglas G. Carter, you know, the man for the superintendent of the Indiana State Police during rape. All these children were murdered during rape. Uh, child number two is a four-year-old girl from Argentina. And she was raped 64 times, and she was murdered by Indiana State Policeman number six. Child number three was a four-year-old boy from Brazil who was raped 67 times and was murdered by uh, Mike Pence. Child number four was a five-year-old girl from China. She was raped 76 times and murdered by Indianapolis Municipal Police Department, the one I call number one because he has a very long history of murdering children at this, at this location. Uh, child number five was a five-year-old girl from Brazil. This is one of the children that uh, Indiana State Attorney Greg Zeller raped, and uh, she was raped 84 times, and then she was murdered by Indiana State Policeman Number 4. Child number 6 was a 5-year-old boy from China. He was raped 67 times, and he was murdered by Indiana State Policeman Number 3. Child number 7 was a 5-year-old boy from Syria. He was raped 71 times, and he was murdered by Indiana State Policeman number seven. Child number eight was a six-year-old girl from Syria. She was raped 83 times and she was murdered by Indiana State Policeman number two. Child number nine was a six-year-old girl from Argentina. She was raped 79 times and she was murdered by that piece of filth named Thomas, a CIA agent from Indianapolis. Child number 10 was a six-year-old Brazilian girl she was raped 84 times, and she was murdered by Indiana Municipal Police Department officer, the one I call number two. He also has a really long history of murdering children. Uh, child number 11 was a seven-year-old boy from China, and he was raped 77 times, and uh, he was murdered by Indiana State Police Officer uh, number five. And the 12th child was a seven-year-old girl from China. She was raped 89 times, and uh, she was murdered by India, Indianapolis Municipal Police Department Officer Number 3. And uh, I have to go to court tomorrow, and I've been told that uh, the seven Indiana State Troopers who routinely murder children and uh, have all raped me are planning on picking me up from the courtroom and taking me to Indianapolis and murdering me. And so if you never hear from me again, it's probably because that has become true. These men will do anything that they can to continue raping and murdering children. And unfortunately, since they live in Indiana, or unfortunately for the children, uh, because most people will support these men. And most people in Indiana, when they find out that uh, these men that they love are committing murders, the first and only thought on their mind is to help them commit more murders. And no one here wants justice for children. People from Indiana think children are trash and sex toys, and they all deserve to be gang raped and murdered. Thank you. Have a nice day.